It's debate time. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third, y'all guys' third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider subscribing and becoming part of the family. Now, while I say that at the beginning of every video, just know that this video is not, at least as of right now, is not the typical type of video that's on this channel. This video was prompted by a response that I got to Andy Minio's video that he just put out with words played, uh, Shibuya Roll Call. Now, if you watch this video, Video and you like what you see let me know below because I might end up turning this to a segment on the on the actual channel or I might end up being like a patreon type thing where they get to watch it two weeks early before anybody on YouTube gets to see it I just don't know this is really the first type of video like this so this is really the first type of video of its kind where I'm actually responding with a video to a subscriber or to a viewers comment and basically this is what I said in the video right here I had some debt I paid it love. In 2019, Andy racked up some good debt. There is such thing as good debt. Do be aware, not all debt is bad. So good debt is building your credit score. Now you're not falling behind. You're just using the debt as an asset to make more money. So I said that, and obviously I wasn't really expecting anybody to say anything about it, but then I got this comment from this person right here. Now, if you happen to be not watching this video, if you're just listening to the audio in the background or what have you, I'll go ahead and read you what we're about to debate about. He says, two hours ago, there is no such thing as good debt. People who have money don't need a credit score. They can afford what they buy. First thing most savvy wealthy people do is get rid of debt. This is what the data tells us. Ernest is wrong on that one. This is where the debate comes in. He is correct in terms of the fact that most wealthy individuals can afford whatever they want and they don't need a credit score. But where my argument comes in, because I was going to put this in the comment, but I figured more people would see it like this. Most people are not in a financially wealthy enough position to be able to just afford, afford to buy a house, afford to buy a car, all straight cash, afford to furnish a house, afford to be able to buy TVs and, and all the things that people love to do. Yes, you don't need money. Money doesn't buy happiness, but it, it, it there are certain essentials that most houses do need. When I bought this house, I could not afford to furnish every single room. I went from a 600 square foot, a square foot apartment to a 1200 square foot house. I doubled the size with twice as many rooms and I didn't have the furniture you know needed in order to make the make the place livable. So I had to buy a dining table. My my couch was too small, so I had to buy a new couch. You had to buy a washer and dryer. You gotta buy all these things that most people are not financially capable of purchasing. And this is where the good debt comes in. And in my personal opinion, the good debt or what is considered good debt is debt that helps you manage your money in a more effective way. I would say on this house specifically, furnishing through Wayfair, furnishing through Rooms to Go, you know, just just trying to trying to make the space livable. I've probably spent well over four thousand dollars just trying to furnish the house. Most people don't just have that laying around. At that point, I did happen to have it laying around, but I still didn't spend it on just straight cash because I want to be able to keep my bank account liquid. I don't want to be able to be in some situation where I where I don't have the funds needed for an emergency expense. So because I have good credit, I was able to put everything on in the house. If I didn't buy it cash, everything in this house right now is on at least two to three years of no interest. And that right there is what I consider good credit. Good, not just good credit, but good debt. It allows me to keep all of my money for emergency expenses should they come up. I still plan on paying everything off in like six months. I'm not planning on stretching it out to the two or three years that they gave me. But should an emergency arise, they give you a minimum payment that's required to keep the account on no interest status. So I can go and dip down toward that minimum payment for as long as I need to within the two years and as long as I pay it off within the two years is basically like I paid it as cash but I did not spend the four thousand dollars all up front same thing for my car you know I, I, I obviously I can't afford to buy a eighteen thousand twenty thousand dollar vehicle cash but if you get it at a 1.9 interest rate I, 
I'd rather pay the interest over five years than have to drop $20,000 and now I have no money in the bank for emergencies. But what I will say is that most debt is not good debt. There is such thing as good debt in my personal eyes, but that's only because my credit score is, is decent. It's like not as better than decent actually. So everything that I get is either no interest or it's extremely low interest rate for that vehicle where you might pay a seven to eight percent interest rate in a car i'm probably paying 1.9 or if there's some type of special where they're giving six months you know 60 months no interest I'm, I'm buying that vehicle on that 60 months no interest so it took me being able to manage my debt in order to be able to have good debt because people who don't manage their debt originally in the way that i did it turns into a bad credit score and then that credit score turns into bad debt because now you don't have an option of having good debt that same best buy credit card that i have three thousand dollars worth of credit on that is no longer two years no interest now you're being taxed at 25 percent interest and that right there is a hundred percent bad debt so I don't want to give people the false impression if you're watching this that there's no such thing as bad debt because there definitely is. I would probably say 80% of all debt is bad debt. But if you have a good credit score that opens up your possibilities to what good debt is, a low interest mortgage, no interest on a car, low interest on a car, no interest on, on, on furniture, on anything you need utilities wise to furnish a house. That's good debt in my opinion because I have the money sitting in my account right now and it's not at Wayfair so should something arise, my car breaks down, I need a new engine or whatever, I have the money now to be able to pay for that, but at the same time, I still furnish the house. Everything is time versus money. And that's why they say that time equals money. So that's my argument. If someone has a different opinion on whether or not there's such thing as good or bad debt, let me know. I do appreciate the comment where that came from. You can't tell the tone of voice through a text. I didn't want it to come off as sarcastic or as very combative because I know that that's the tone of voice that I can take on, on comments. I have that kind of sarcastic attitude a lot of the time. So I wanted this to be a legitimate like, yo, I heard what you said. This is my take on it, and basically that's it. Moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, the kids out there, don't get yourself in debt that you can't afford to pay, and also pay your credit cards. Don't run your credit up so that way you have a good credit score to be able to have what I call quote unquote good debt. And that's basically it.